Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm bringing you a Stone Age build order tutorial for Age of Empires 1 and the Rise of Rome expansion, so let's get started. Right off the bat, I'm going to build a house with this guy and queue up four villagers at my town center. While that's going on, this guy's going to go on a tree, uh, a straggler tree to be exact, and this guy's going to go out here to find my berries. Basically, you just want to scout with one villager until you find your berries. If you can't find your ber berries immediately, uh, then just uh, hunt deer or something that you, some source of food that you have found. So, sending these guys over. This guy's actually gonna go on different uh, berry bush because the way the game works. Villagers are actually entities that block other entities from moving somewhere. So, uh, if I had all six villagers on one berry bush, uh, they'd get clumped together, and one who's kind of in front of another one would go to drop off their resources, but they couldn't because uh, another one that's still gathering is blocking them. I hope that makes sense, but uh, probably doesn't. So, my 7th out of 8th villager is going to build a house, and I'm going to train up another villager. And uh, what's really cool is that my granary actually found my gold and my stone, so... This guy's actually going to go on wood, and this guy, the guy who built the house, is going to go get berries. Going to queue up some more villagers. There we go. That guy's gonna go on wood. Oh, these guys look like they're done. This guy's also gonna go on wood. The next guy I train is gonna actually go build a storage pit. Sometimes if you're really lucky, a storage pit can actually cover three of your sources at a time. Your wood, your stone, and your gold. But uh, unfortunately, uh, my wood is probably separated. We'll see. This guy can't exactly afford a storage pit yet, so we'll find out. Nope, just some gazelles. And we're going to build that. And we're going to get one more villager. There are some trees up here, so this storage pit will actually work for a little bit. And we just wait until he's done. And this guy's also done, so... I'm gonna put him on stone. This guy, once he finishes, he's gonna go on gold. So by now I have six on food. Uh, berries to be exact. One on gold, one on stone, and four on wood. And we're gonna force drop off right here and we're gonna get some trees from up here and since I have a pretty good income of food I will actually take one guy off and uh, we're gonna go station him by the water so I can build a dock if you're playing on a land map you don't actually have to build a dock uh, with one villager from forage bushes but uh yeah I don't actually take any villagers from wood to build my dock, like this is more of a matter of preference, uh, but I find it inefficient because these guys are actually gathering wood and you need those for a dock. So yeah, and they're getting kind of stuck, this is what I was talking about when I was saying that uh, units get stuck on each other. Oh, and it looks like I actually have enough for a dock, so I'm going to throw it up right there. Now, from this point on, you don't actually have to do anything but collect food, so that way you have enough to uh, age up. And uh, I'm also just going to gather some wood from trees until I have enough to build a storage pit over by this forest right here. Looks 
like. My guys are going down here, but that's okay. Uh, th this guy actually needs to go back on berries. I would queue up some fishing ships right now, but that's only if you have an excess amount of wood. Which only occurs if you're playing as the Phoenicians or something. Because uh, they have a wood cutting bonus, so... Yeah. I'm playing as the Hittites, so... Basically, I don't really have any special economic bonuses. We're gonna go down here, and we have exactly enough for a storage pit, thank god. So, I actually have enough to age up right now, and I, I will do that. And when you're aging up, if you do have enough wood, like if you got the lucky, uh, the lucky uh, resource spawning, where like you stone your gold and your wood are all in the uh, exact same place, like they're pretty close to each other, uh, then you can probably afford a fishing ship, but unfortunately I can't. We're gonna cut down that tree. If you're playing on the land map, what you want to do when you're aging up is actually build a barracks. Like, during this age up process right here, you want to take a villager of, well, from any resource really. Oh, oops. Uh, you want to take them to uh, build a barracks. That is so you can actually build some more, uh, more military buildings and uh, protect yourself from any invaders because the tool age is a good time to rush on land maps but uh, on water maps you're mostly going to be uh, rushing with scout boats but sometimes in the once you hit bronze age you can actually see a land invasion so this guy's actually going to build a house and we have reached the tool age and yeah that's actually pretty much it for this tutorial uh, so I hope you guys learned something. Rate, comment, subscribe for more Age of Empires content. I'll do more tutorials, and um, I'll be playing other Age of Empires games uh, on this channel. So, see ya!